Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Bolton Wanderers career mode series. In this video, we have to bounce back after the absolutely dismal performance against Leighton Orient. If you didn't see that, you can go watch back. A little spoiler though, they had 12 shots on target, we had one. So yeah, we're going to have to look to bounce back as we travel to the Bescott Stadium to face Walsall. Walsall will be lining up in this 4-1-4-1. I f do feel a little concerned as this does look defensive, and especially since we're trying to bounce back. I don't want this to be a boring defensive game. I would like for us to have a good attacking presence in this game. So after whatever you want to call our last couple of games, the team definitely has needed some changes. So I have changed some things up. We are now playing a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. We'll have Gilks in goal. Hoyo Kowalski is making his debut, and so will be at center back with Santos. Jones and Maskell at wing backs. Comley will be playing our defensive mid. Sir Surakiv Sarkovic and Crawford will be center mids. Politic at attacking mid, with Doyle and Ganu up top. And now, let's get into the game. And this confrontation is underway. Dan Scar with it. Well, a joy to watch. Oh, skipping away. Holden. Gordon. Norman. Could play it in. Guthrie. Keeping it moving dynamically. This looks promising. Difficult to stop him. Can they get in behind them? Now the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Crawford. And space here on the flank. Teammate available. Can they forge ahead? And up for grabs off the keeper. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. This attack looks highly promising. And now passing it through. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for Exeter City. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And given away. Nice-looking pass. Crossing possibilities. Pulls it back. Sports car, that's a red sports Comley. car parked outside main reception. Please return to your vehicle. Crawford. Owen Doyle. Oh, he's really up on them up here. Well, racing past his man. Save, but still a chance. Teammate available. Still a chance. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Guthrie, Norman, an unforced error, you've got to say. Now, let's see what they can do here. It looks promising. Good defending to prevent the chance. Ali Crawford. Real danger. 
and teammates to play it to. Well, strongly fisted away. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for Scunthorpe United. 26 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Derek, the visitors dominating possession. It's been really impressive. Can they keep that pressure on and get the goal their play deserves? They just need to be a little bit more clinical. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Comley. Crawford. Every pass hitting its target. It might be. In it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead! Well, here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Bradford City. 32 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And do they mean business on this occasion? He read it well. Holden. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Gordon. They do pass the ball with authority. They might be able to get in now. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Jones A potential danger here will he play it in opportunity oh that is a majestic goal volleyed home with precision and style superbly done well here's the replay Derek I love a ball into the box you know that it's a beauty and bang he doesn't need a second invitation Beautiful strike to finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. It's going their way, 2-0. There's plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Gordon. Oh, lovely incisive pass. What a vital intervention. And with that, the first half draws to a close. We're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack Lee. Well, he's got so much swagger, hasn't he? Why not as well? He's got so much game. Superb finishing. Right place at the right time. He hasn't given the goalkeeper time to breathe.
The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Couldn't keep it. Excellent challenge. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Opportunity it is. Firing it in. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for the visitors. 51 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Well, news coming through on the transfer front. Big news at that. Anthony Martial has completed his move to Interley. Well, he's been the obvious target for many clubs, and you can see why. He's a top player. Lots of people will love playing with this lad. He has time to play it over. And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. But if a player can stand still and nod the ball into the net like that, I'll be asking serious questions about my centre-backs. Shocking, really. Three goals without reply. Dan Scar with it. Well, high marks for that pass. Holden. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a second goal for Bradford City. 58 minutes played, 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McInerney along the way. The visitors have had total control of possession. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Over it comes. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent set piece. And he gets up for the header, and quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Number nine, Owen Doyle. Holden. Well, the outcome is a free kick here.
losing possession here can they hit on the break well that's not textbook defending Cuts it back. Will it be? And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Comley. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a third goal for the home team. 70 minutes played. 3-1. Cheers again, Alan. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. This looks promising out wide. Real danger. It's there for him. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Comley. Oh, big chance. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Bates. Wonderfully weighted pass. Chance to play it in. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Comley. Just ten minutes to go. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Not showing good patience. Oh, what's he gone and done? Can he fire it towards goal? What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction! Tremendous goal! Well, here's the goal again, and he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket picked and rightly punished. Schoolboy stuff. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Bates. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Taft. Well, just listen to this. You can really sense the frustration around the stadium. They've been poor today, far below their usual standards. They're just allowing their opponents too much time on the ball. They have to press more. Being pressed hard. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Guthrie. Nolan. Gordon but I'll tell you what that didn't miss by much a 
And that puts them in position. And that is that. The referee blows. Yeah, I would consider that a pretty good bounce back game. 5 0 win. First win in the league. Biggest win we've ever had. Most goals we've ever scored. And honestly, just the best that the team has looked. Hopefully, this is not a one game fluke as we should be able to carry this into the rest of the league. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and to stay tuned to see when this next episode of this is coming out. And it's JB signing off.